Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to part two of Stir Fry Madness. In part one, we got through days one through seven and we left it on day eight prep. We know we have a mixer that's gonna be here and let's see what else we get. We got a mixer, anything else? Are we gonna get lucky? Not really. So we're gonna buy the mixer for sure and the mixer is gonna be used for meat because meat takes a lot longer to chop than anything else does. And I don't wanna start collecting um, countertops, but we'll start collecting a couple. Now we also have our frozen, oh, we can't afford the frozen prep. So either we ditch it or we save it and not upgrade anything else. I, I, I don't know, it, I'm torn a bit, but since we invested the time for the frozen prep, we might as well keep it because yeah, I think we'll just keep it. I don't think there's really any harm in keeping it. I don't think there is. Just gotta keep an eye on that uh, thing though. All right, so we got a meat up and we got a broccoli up, cool. I also wanna stay on top of messes. Messes are gonna be key here. Whoops, that's gonna go to there. That's gonna go to there, there we go. Another prep. We need to try to wait, I think, for blueprint cabinets. Because we have a prep. I mean, ideally, we'll have three prep stations at the end. But having them right now, I don't think is necessarily worth it, personally. We got a double coming up. Display stand might be good. Not for us yet. But it would be, will be good, eventually. Conveyor, I'm going to lock that in. I know it's early for the conveyor, but I want to not have to mess with one of these ingredients at least. And we'll be able to upgrade it for the next day, so we'll have a grabber. And we're going to see what we get. All right, let's get some rice on. What do you guys want? All right, so you want a meat with a broccoli, and we're going to want a carrot. This is going to want a side of broccoli. Jeez, what a dish there. Look at this big mess, too. This mess is, we gotta, the big, <laughs> these messes are killer, but we gotta clean them. Look how long it takes to, jeez, are we gonna burn? No, nah, I think we're okay. Wow. Because like I said, the mixer has, or the, um, the, the uh, sorry, the, the stir fry, when you cook it, it takes that much longer to cook. So every cooking cycle, you could have a mess which is what the problem is, right? All right, so I think we still only have five groups today. Taking sides aren't bad. This size kitchen is a little bit tight, but for the most part, it's fine because as you see, we have no weight outside. We're doing perfectly fine so far. I don't want to do, I can do, I'm gonna do one ring ring. Call, actually, we can call everybody. Oh, it's only have one left. <laughs> Fair enough, one left. And we got a meat with a carrot. That's probably the only way I'd, I'd have stir fry is there's some meat in it. All right, that should be the day, I believe. So now we can afford the frozen prep. We can, we're gonna upgrade the conveyor, which I think is good. All right, we'll see what happens. Give us something good. There's one conveyor and, uh, so didn't really luck out. Now the frozen prep, I mean, it makes sense to do it for the meat, right? Um, something like that. The meat can live there. This can go down here, of course. Uh, we'll swap it for the phone. The conveyor is what I want to upgrade next. Uh, there's no real point to buy anything else. Because I think what I'll do is for this round, I'll use it to make four meat. And then at next round, I'll move this up here. Because, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, what this comes up with. Because we're going to have a grabber next time. So we'll be able to automate... Uh, I mean, we could automate the meat. We could automate something going into a prep. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Because we, we definitely need some more mixers. Another research desk would be helpful to get another cabinet or a blueprint desk, I mean. And also blueprint cabinets. I think blueprint cabinets are going to be... Because we have six groups now. We're doing fine. But we do have six groups now. Let's do our research. Now we're guaranteed to get a regular grabber. Oh man, they're, they're, it's baiting me with these prep stations. Baiting me so much. All right, so we're gonna have a couple doubles. Double up, then we got a carrot on. 
hob upgrades would be good as well eventually to get safety hobs because then they won't burn in between courses which is what's good about the safety hobs oh there's a big mess there already jeez you can't even see that mess and look how long it's taking Man, another prep station ah all right come on come on all right so we got a broccoli and we got a uh, actually got two carrot this one's gonna be a meat we got a side of broccoli this is a big order here we got that and we're gonna have a carrot with that Oops, with a side of broccoli again. Geez, everyone wants the sides today. All right, good to go. All right, let's just get these dishes caught up a little bit, then we'll take the order. We have two groups done, four to go. Let's see what they need. Let's get a little bit prep. Chopping counters would be huge too. All right, so we have a single coming in. Always do the singles first, in my opinion, of course, because it's just one dish and then they're in and out. Do the single, the side of broccoli, good, good. Let's get a little bit of prep going here. There it is, blueprint cabinet, that's what I want. So that way we can start upgrading two things at once. Whether it's the same thing or not is irrelevant. All right, let's get that in. What do you guys want? So we want a meat and a carrot with a brock. Oops, that, and we want just another plain meat. Plain meat, just with plain. There's one, and there's two. All right, let's get the tables cleared. Plenty of time, I think this is the last group coming in anyway. Get them seated, what do you guys want? Oh, okay, carrot, broccoli. All right, let's get the carrot up. Oh, no, shoot, that's wrong. Um, okay, sorry. That's okay, we'll start over, not a big deal. The meat's gonna go with a carrot. And then we need a broccoli on the side. Broccoli on the side and on the top. Broccoli, plain broccoli, there we go. Like I said, this is where it gets confusing because you could mess up like that. I mean, thankfully I have the bin here, which is helpful, of course. Let me just use that for that. We don't need to clean anything for today. That blueprint cabinet, I think, is gonna be... Oh, we're actually out of broccoli, too. Jeez, good thing this guy didn't want broccoli. That would have been a little problem. Alrighty. Day nine, we get another card today. All right. Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, individual dining is not bad because it's just one dish in and out. Um, but our groups are likely going to go from eight to 14, maybe. But soup is every, everybody wants soup. And I'll be making that, but no, it won't, I, I don't know. I'm really torn here. I'm very, very torn. So, individual is good because it's quicker in and out, but I think we're going to go soup. We're going to go soup, and that may be a minority decision, but we're going to go soup. We got our blueprint cabinet. Ooh, combiner. Now, the combiner, do we have a use for the combiner? Whoops. That's the question. And the answer is, I don't know if we have a use for the, I don't know if we're actually, I'm gonna get rid of the phone. I think we're at the stage now where the phone can go away. Oh, the door went away too, that's weird. Okay, we're only gonna need one onion. So I think I'll put the onions there, right? Oh, you get stuck on it anyway. So we're gonna get the, we need a hob. A hob is what we need, but I think what we gotta do is you might have to move some of this stuff around. I think we might have to put, whew, I don't know here, honestly. We have the frozen prep, but how are we gonna do the, I mean, we can cook the broccoli. We might have to just slide the tables down a bit. And we can actually take this and stick this here. And then we have to, we'll put a counter here. The counter will be, <clears throat> Excuse me. I think the counter will be for the soup. Because then we can just run back, put it on there, and there we go. This, I think I'm going to move here. And let's just slide all this down. I think that is maybe... 
Um, come on, I think that no, that should that bug should be fixed. You shouldn't be able to put those underneath there anymore. This, this, that. There. Okay. Cool. So I think this is fine because again we have four meat ready to go. We're only gonna have five groups, anywhere between five and ten people. The combiner. Ah. Uh, oh, we actually. Oh, we have the we have the belt too. So I think what we'll do is we could we'll aut let's automate. Uh, whoops. Let's automate the broccoli. Oops. Geez. Sorry. Er. Uh, yeah. Th this. Okay. This can go down here. We only need one walk. That's right. So let's just move all of this up one. I think that's fine because the broccoli is going to be here anyway. The carrots are here. This we don't necessarily need. Now the combiner, hmm, I think it's worth probably upgrading a counter. And now again, a metal table is good, except they're still going to want soup. So I think the combiner, hmm, maybe the sink. We could try for a basin, a wash basin. I'm torn about torn about buying the combiner. I just don't know if it's feasible for the run that we have set up right now in this small of a kitchen. So I think we're gonna just leave it alone for now. And we'll just go like, we'll, just, we'll see what happens. Got that on, got this on, that's that. Grab this and we'll get our soup on. So I can cook soup there too, right? It's not a huge deal. And the thing is, oh, there's another combiner. Thing. Everybody, oh no, shoot. I set that up wrong. Oh, darn it. That's okay. That's okay, right? All right, get the soup on. Come on. Because everybody wants soup. Yeah, I messed up because this one, this isn't hitting this. Display stand is good. Honestly, it is really, it is really good. But I think for now, we're going to not, we're going to not use that. All right. You want soup, of course. Let's try to get some, some stuff laid out here if we can. All right, what do we got here? So we need a double. At least we have something automated, which is helpful. Ah, I'm kicking myself about the whole sink business there. Alrighty. Again, we only have five groups, so we're good to go. I could have actually left this table here, now that I think about it. All right, so we got a broccoli. The carrot is on already. At that carrot on and we got to put this in there all right sir oops oh no there's a big mess there let's clean that mess up i should have almost put the the um the floor protector on the in there on the corner that's okay i think all right get you oops get you off here i know you're going to want soup at least one of you is going to want soup let's get another batch of soup on that's going to be some yeah another hob would be really really good too I uh, don't need that chopped. We're going to chop this. All right, because they need two soup, then we'll be in trouble. So we'll just wait for now. we got a kneading counter anyway, which is kind of pointless. Yep, see, they both wanted soup. Coffee table? Uh, I don't know. Coffee table intrigues me. All right, so we want a broccoli and a meat. And then we just want a side that and we're just going to want one plain meat get you served get you served get you served and then i think we have one more group i got to be careful what's on the blueprint desk because i don't want to get something that's not worth getting all right what do you want my friend so we got a side of broccoli got a carrot on all righty got that good all right good to go we're gonna need another batch of, uh, I think we're gonna take the coffee table. It's at the end of the day, we probably would get it anyway. All right, so we just want one soup. Thankfully, I ended up hitting it by accident, so that's good. All right, what do you guys want? I do wanna get some more meat chopped. What do you guys want? Okay, so we want one meat. And then we're gonna plate that here. And then this one's just gonna be a broccoli. Good. All right, and we're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of prepping. Um, where can I stick this? I guess in this, I can just bin it, I guess, right? Because what I want to do is I want to get the meat counter filled back up at the end of the day. Because it is a you know we only use two maybe we use three sorry we use three portions of meat. All right, good. 
and good. All right, last one with 20 coins there. Very good, plus a little bit for the soup. All right, we're rocking and rolling. I hit, I, I messed up the whole sink business down there. That's a big mistake, but that's okay. I will, uh, I'll make up for it. All right, today's deco day. So where's our coffee table? All right, so coffee table I'm gonna buy for sure. Now the question is, where do we put it? I guess we put it here. Alrighty, what else do we have? So candelabra is worth twenty, and we only we need two points though. The plant is good, although we don't necessarily need the plant. I think we need to buy another fountain, and that would that would take us up to the extra money one. Spending a lot of money, but I think it's going to be worth it in the end. Uh, is that the same color? Mm, I think I like the green. So cues stop table patients decreasing. Now, we haven't really had many cues, but we're still... Yeah, the candelabra's 20, but we didn't have another 20 to buy. All right, so uh, needing counter is lousy, so I want to swap these out now. Because, let's see, is there anything else you want to buy? A rug is not going to be good. Let's buy the slate. Let's put the slate tiles, I guess it's called. Oh, we actually have everything. We can make everything the same color now. There's that. And then we can actually make, yeah, here's, this is what I wanted, the purple. Hey, look at that, everything's the same now, cool. <laughs> All right, so the soup's been okay. We still have five groups, which is good. I think we're gonna keep doing exactly what we did before and just uh, keep on with that. Put that there. Get some soup on. Grab a little walk. Do some research. I don't even know if a wash basin would be good. I mean, I guess it would be. And, and that is a power sink. It's got to wait to cook this because everybody wants, everyone's going to want soup. That's definitely a power sink because there's a little bit of an extra blue, blue symbol in, in the middle. Alrighty, come on. Come on. Walk on. Let's just get a little bit of prep work done before we're here. Ooh, conveyor. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to take it. I know it's a little mature, premature. Everybody says don't take conveyors, but I think we want to take it. All right, and you guys want one soup as well. Good. All right, what do you want for an order, my friends? You want a broccoli and, oops, a carrot. Good to go. Nice, easy to start the day. Ear up, ear up, and what do you want? Oh, and then, and then we got the works. At that, we're going to have the meat. Then we're gonna grab a pot with some broccoli in it. There's that one, and then we have a double. Should have maybe held up for a mixture, but I think we're fine, honestly. Get this one out, then we'll do dishes, of course, and then we'll be good. Still only have, ooh, there's a mess there. Still only have five groups, hopefully this can clean the messes. What I do like the wash basin for is that the wash basin will clean a lot more messes in at one time because you're, you look at what we're done already. This one's gonna want soup. So let's get another soup on right now. Carrot's gonna go in. It does cook a lot faster the second time around, of course. Let's get the soup on. I know they're gonna want at least one soup and we have one more group coming in, so we're fine. All right, got that up. And what are you gonna want? You're gonna want a double, oops, there we go. There's that, there's this, get you out. All right, how many soups have you been with? Just one? Nope, two soups. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Should have one more group after this, I think. All right, so we've got a double meat. Oh, we don't need brock, we need double, double meat, double brock. Oh, we gotta put, put some rice in there, that'd be helpful. Like that, we got a broccoli going in. We got the rice going in. Meat going in, everything's going in the pool. Served, served. And then you guys are gonna want just one soup, which is good. I don't have to do this at all. All right, I wanna, I wanna fill up the meat counter while we're standing here. It's just because. I think it is a time savings not having to chop meat every day. And then, all right, two doubles. Or no, one double, one carrot. So we'll get the double on first. Do 
just the easiest, I guess. Oops, that's a dirty plate. All right. Hit that, and we'll get the carrot on next, and then that'll be the day. Good job, good job, good day. Good, I should say good day. Good day, good day. Oh, uh, here we go. All right. Wash a couple dishes. So we're going to get another conveyor belt, which is good. Another mixer would be great, because then we can double up this setup, which would be really, really helpful. All right, let's see what we got. One of these is going to be the conveyor belt. All right, conveyor in. Come on, give me something good. Uh, nothing so... Oh, it's a soaking sink. Now, the soaking sinks are good. I just don't know where they would fit in with this layout, to be honest with you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So I think what we're going to do is I want to upgrade a hob. Because if we get a danger hob, that would be really good for the soup and the broccoli. Um, now, for the stir fry, I don't know if it'd be too much here. So that has to be, we'll have to think about that. But I could always put the danger hob here to do soup. It's not that far. And I just have to walk the pot over. It's not really that far. Is it worth doing soup the, or a hob? Or is it worth trying to get a chopping counter? I love I love the soaking sink. It's, we just have no room for it. In this layout, I don't know where we would put a soaking sink. You know, I like doing everything kind of crammed in here. But I don't think we would have a, a use for a soaking sink. Oh, no. This isn't usable. How long has that been like that? Oh, no, I didn't even realize this one wasn't even working. Shoot. Wait a minute. This should be able to go here. Oh, okay. I know you can't put things in front of the door anymore because, see, there's not even an outline to pop a chair there. I know that, that kind of bug has been fixed. So let's see. Um, You know what we're going to do? I think we're going to call it an episode here. This is part two in the Stir Fry series. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Tune in for part three where we're going to do the next days, which are going to get harder because we're up to six groups now. We have the soup. We have the broccoli. We're going to get another conveyor belt or another grabber. A mixer on the table would be ideal. I think that's what I'm going to try to shoot for a mixer or a research desk or even another blueprint cabinet. Then we can start really upgrading a lot of things in one day. But I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for part three of Stir Fried Madness.